Hi students, I hope all of you are fit and fine. Today we are going to see the question and answers, also the MCQs of the chapter Food and Digestion, which is chapter number 1. Well, first one we will see MCQs, take the correct answers. And the first question in that is, eggs, fish, cheese, peas and pulses are called, options are, energy giving foods, bodybuilding foods, protective foods. So this is, these are the options and the correct one is bodybuilding foods. Okay, so this bodybuilding food is the correct answer. So let us tick mark this bodybuilding foods. Let us see second question. The question is, these are protective foods, bread and butter, peas and pulses, fruits and vegetables. So which is the correct option according to you? You are right. Fruits and vegetable is the correct answer. Third question. Calcium, potassium, sodium, iodine and iron are examples of vitamins, minerals, carbohydrate. Obviously the answer is minerals because this calcium, potassium, sodium, iodine, iron all these are types of minerals so the obvious answer to this question would be minerals fourth question from the mouth the food passes through the food pipe into small intestine large intestine stomach from mouth where does it pass on to from mouth it passes on to stomach so the correct option would be stomach fifth question do not wash vegetables and fruits before eating them after eating them ever do not wash vegetables remember we should not wash vegetables after cutting them so the correct option would be b after cutting them then this is the table complete the table of nutrients so i have already written the answers so first in that is proteins among protein the sources are pulses meat cheese peas eggs and fish and what is the function the function is it helps us to grow then comes carbohydrate in carbohydrates the sources are rice wheat potato and what is its function its function is to give us energy then comes fats in fats the sources are nuts oil butter and what are the, its function its function is to give us more energy then comes vitamins okay over here so what are the sources of vitamins fresh fruits and vegetables and what are its function it function is it helps our body to fight diseases then comes minerals among mineral the sources are fresh fruit vegetables meat fish liver milk and its function is formation of bones teeth and blood so this is the function of minerals so students all these are uh, sources of various kind of nutrients and also here I have given the function so you can just write it down in your notebooks okay students so let us move on further now this is a question where you have to match the column so in column a there is bodybuilding nutrients then protective nutrients changing of food into simpler form then digestive liquid in mouth, muscular bag, make food uh, last longer. So these are the options in column A. And in column B there is saliva, stomach, preservation, proteins, digestion, vitamins and minerals. So all these options are given in your column B. What we have to do? You have to match the right columns. Okay. So bodybuilding nutrients. Which are bodybuilding nutrients? obviously protein then protective nutrients these are vitamins and minerals changing of food into simpler form what is it called it is called as digestion the digestive liquid in the mouth it is a saliva the muscular bag and digestive system it is a stomach and makes food, uh, food last longer it is preservation so I have matched the columns accordingly so this is how we have to match the two columns okay students so let us move on further write short answers why do we need food 
द करेक्ट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन वुड बी वी नीड फूड एज इट अलाउज अस टू ग्रो स्टे अलाइव गिव अस एनर्जी टू वर्क एंड कीप अस फिट एंड हेल्दी लेट अस सी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेम एनी थ्री फूड आइटम्स विच कंटेन स्टार्च द आंसर वुड बी राइस व्हीट पोटैटो कंटेन स्टार्च थर्ड क्वेश्चन नेम एनी फोर सोर्सेस ऑफ विटामिन्स एंड मिनरल्स द आंसर विल be fresh fruits vegetables milk and fish are sources of vitamins and minerals then let us see fourth question what is a balanced diet now you have to define the balanced diet so how will you define it a balanced diet is diet which has the right amount of all nutrients that is carbohydrate fats proteins vitamins and minerals where does digestive food enter from the stomach from the stomach the digested food enters the small intestine okay students so remember this from di- from stomach this digested food goes into small intestine and from small intestine it goes into large intestine okay so you have to always remember this well the next is answer the following questions okay and these are pretty long questions compared to the earlier questions let us see first what happens to the food in the mouth in the mouth our teeth bite and chew the food and break it into small pieces second point as we chew the saliva in our mouth mixes with the food saliva is what it is a digestive liquid secreted by salivary glands last point saliva changes the insoluble starch into soluble sugar so these points should be mentioned in your answer for the question what happens to the food in the mouth second question what is the function of small intestine well you can mention the inside walls of the small intestine produce juices that mixes with the food the liver and the pancreas also pour their juices into the small intestine these juices help to completely digest the food and last point you will mention the blood vessels present in the walls of the small intestine absorb the digested food and carry it to all the parts of the body so this is how you will answer to second question which is what is the function of a small intestine third question what happens to our food when it enters the stomach till it reaches large intestine well the first point will be from the mouth the food passes through the food pipe into the stomach second point food is churned here third point the digestive juices in the stomach break down the proteins into simpler form fourth point you will mention from the stomach the food is further pushed into a long coil tube called as small intestine the inside walls of the small intestine produce juices that mixes with the food the liver and pancreas also pour their juices into small intestine and last point you will mention these juices help to completely digest the food so this is how you have to answer the question what happens to our food when it enters the stomach till it reaches the large intestine fourth point what is preservation food is valuable if not preserved it may begin to spoil the process of treating food in a way that preserves its value for a long time is called preservation so this is how you will define the uh, meaning of the word preservation and last point you will mention cooked and uncooked food can be preserved in different ways so there are different ways no need to mention all the ways you can simply write these three points that is enough next point how do we preserve food well you have to mention all the preserving methods over here we can preserve food in one of the following ways either you can do refrigeration boiling canning pickling gelling so these are uh, preservation methods of the food you can also mention drying okay students so that was all from my side stay home and stay safe and keep learning bye bye have a nice day